Should I try and shake it this week? Should I try and shake it this week? Should I try and shake it this week? <sighs> That's exhausting. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm a whiskey nerd. I'm Rose and I'm a whiskey new. And I want to know, what are we doing this week? Well, this week, uh, we're actually going to make a pineapple whiskey sour. Ooh, I like pineapple. Yeah. Okay, uh, all that we're doing sours, a lot of sours going on, but they're not actually all that sour. They're yeah. quite sweet or tropical. We use lemon and now we're using pineapple. Yeah. This is not exactly what I thought a sour so was. A sour is just a kind of a classic cocktail. It has essentially just two parts spirit, one part sugar and one part citrus. Uh, Generally that citrus is your lemon or your lime. So like a daiquiri is a sour because that's two parts rum, one part sugar, one part lime juice. A whiskey sour, two parts whiskey, one part sugar, one part citrus, which is lemon juice. I had no idea a daiquiri yeah. was a sour. What a sour? about a strawberry daiquiri? Well see that one they might use less of the sugar syrup but then they add extra strawberry. So it's basically you want to keep your ratio roughly in check of two one one. So here we're using, instead of using two parts, we're using two parts whiskey, yes, and we're using one part lemon juice, but because we're also using one part pineapple juice, that's going to give you some sweetness and a bit of extra kind of sourness. We're only going to use half an ounce of sugar syrup to kind of keep our ratio roughly in check. All right, cool. So sours, you yeah. use kind of citrusy ones, but you use like the natural sweetness in them. Yes instead of like a ton of sugar syrup or something overly sweet. Yeah, now you typically don't like a sour where it's very lemon forward. Mm -hmm. You liked the amaretto one, and that's why I think you're also gonna like this one. But there's no amaretto today. There's no amaretto. It's just Rowan Co. Irish whiskey, because that'll give us a nice sweet whiskey that's gonna give us a nice sweet flavor. Yeah. And we'll be using our pineapple juice. We're not gonna be using any egg white, because pineapple juice is one of those juices that if you shake it up, it actually gives you a nice head on the cocktail. It actually oh! should give us a nice bit of foam and natural. So for vegans, yeah, so this is actually a good kind of vegan friendly cocktail. Sweet! Yeah. So it is a shake and drink like most sours are. And we're going to put in our shaker tin and we're going to get a nice rock of ice and pop that in there. Should I try and shake it this week? Should I try and shake it this week? Should I try and shake it this week? If you want, we can have Rose shake it and see how much of a head it gets. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah. We're going to go in with two ounces of our Rowan Co. Irish whiskey. You know this whiskey. You like this whiskey. In fact, you're, I think, wearing... I am! I'm wearing Rowan Co. She's wearing a Rowan Co. hoodie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We uh, went there. Uh, it's they very have friendly. Kind of nice um, cocktails. Um, we went there in the summer. So, yeah. yeah. And we're going with one ounce of our pineapple juice. Yeah. Not freshly squeezed. No. This, this came from a cart, and I have no idea how you'd squeeze a pineapple. Uh, one ounce of our lemon juice, freshly squeezed. Uh, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And Healthy then, dashes. Uh, half an ounce, about 15 ml of our sugar syrup. Okay. And then you are going to shake it up. I'm going to see try. what we get. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. So, shake your tin on top. And give it a yes. Set and I hold it like this. Yes, and give it a shake. Like this? Either way, as long as you hold. We'll be here a while, folks. A few moments later. Oh, this is really hard. A few minutes later. One eternity later. It's exhausting. I don't know how you do that or bartenders do it. My hands are freezing. Okay. Well then, it's it has a nice layer of condensation. Hey! So and then, would you like to strain it out? No. no? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see how much of a head you manage to get on your drink. Moment of truth time. It looks pretty foamy. It looks foamy. Oh. That's pretty good, Rosie. That, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm a little bit impressed. <laughs> Just a little bit yeah. impressed. Because again, like I said, pineapple juice, it does give you a nice bit of foam. It's not going to last forever. It, it won't last as long as an egg white foam. And it won't give you that same mouthfeel, but yeah. it does give you that nice kind of visual uh, appeal. Yeah, you start seeing the gradient already. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for a nice little bit of an extra flair. We'll just do one or two drops of Angostura on top just to give it a nice... Because it does make it look really cute. Yeah. Like little dots. Just little dots. I like it. Okay, so we'll let that settle for a second and then we'll get to tasting it. Cool. Now I think this is about 
as settled as it's gonna get. Yeah, I think that's got a really nice head. It's like yeah. very cleanly on top. Yeah, so. Should I give it a try? Give it a try. Okay, let's see how this tastes. It's definitely pineapple-y, tropical-y. It is. Because it's quite, the Ronco is quite sweet. It won't have all those really strong oaky notes you get in a bourbon. So it won't stand out as much. It's just going to be a nice kind of sweet spirit to add to it. I like it. Yeah. I'm kind of confused to be honest. Like, I really didn't think that you could put like whiskeys and like Lemon. tropical bits yeah. together. I assumed like it would be like a rum or something like that. So I think when I drink it, I'm just quite, and it's also called a sour, so I'm just quite confused, but pl very pleasantly mm, delighted. Yeah. I will yeah. drink this as is. Yeah, like an Irish whiskey is actually pretty good in kind of tropical drinks. But I mean, <laughs> let's be honest here, Irish whiskey and tropics, tropical, not really the most not direct really, no. connection. Like, kind of rainy, dark, very pale. cold, pale. Tropics. Yeah, but most people when they think of a whiskey, they're gonna think of like a spicy, oaky bourbon or like a smoky Scotch whiskey. Okay. They won't think of like the more light, sweet notes you get in an Irish whiskey. And especially with whiskeys like Teeling or Tullamore Dew, they're experimenting with rum cask finishes, mm. which just adds extra sweetness, extra rich kind of pineapple-y banana notes to it. So it, I think it can be very versatile and it can definitely work well especially in a twist on a sour. So for like a Ronco, Teeling or other Irish whiskeys, like think about that Caribbean, like oh people going off to a resort, yeah. more tropical, might be a brand new market for Irish whiskey. Yeah, because Irish whiskeys, you're gonna get that caramel, you're gonna get that vanilla, they're kind of similar notes you get in a rum. A yeah. rum is gonna have nice rich brown sugar, it's gonna have much more pronounced brown sugar yeah. kind of notes, but if you think of like one where you want to taste the pineapple, you want to taste something coming through, but you want to give it a bit of a twist, something different. A whiskey might not be too far bad. Oh yeah, I like it. Let's get, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> well, that is actually two for two because you liked the Amaretto whiskey sour and you liked the pineapple whiskey sour. So hopefully next week I can make another cocktail that you won't want to fix. <laughs> uh, we put out new cocktail reviews every Friday and whiskey reviews every Wednesday. So if you subscribe, you'll see them all. And until next time. Slauncher. Bye-bye. Slauncher.